My pals are here, workbook 1A. Today we will continue from page 17. There are different ways you can show or describe a number. Yeah, they got an example box. So you could write the number 7 like that. You could have 7 pictures or 7 objects. You could write the word 7. And then some more things about 7. 7 comes next in the pattern 3, 4, 5, 6. So next would be 7. 7 is 1 less than 8. And 7 is greater than 4. Okay, greater means bigger. So 7 is bigger than 4. Now we have to do the same with the number 8. There's the word 8. Yeah, they want you to circle eight triangles. So count eight, and then you just make your circle around eight of them. Write eight in words. Okay, in a word. So just write the word eight over there. We've been practicing spelling it, so you should be able to spell it by yourself. Fill in the blanks. M mm is one less than nine. So what number is one less than nine? You write it there. What number is one more than seven? You write it there. Eight is greater than. Now you can choose any number that is smaller than eight. Eight needs to be bigger than the number you choose to write here. Yes, you could buy two or three or four or six or, or zero. Eight is bigger than all those numbers. Okay. Eight is smaller than. Now, yeah, you can write any number that's bigger than 8. You could write 100 or 200 or 500 or 13 or 12 or 20. Okay, those are all bigger than 8. Any number bigger than 8 because 8 needs to be smaller than that number. 8 comes next in this pattern. So you need to make any pattern where 8 would be the next one. So you could count in 1s. Or you could count in twos, as long as eight is the next one in this pattern. Right, remember to look at the example at the back, at the top. They use that as the example for seven. Then we're moving on to page 18. Page 18. Okay. So this is an activity that we would usually do in class with with it with some dice. Okay, so we would throw our die, our dice, and then we would see how many we could do here at the bottom. They say cards. Okay, but in class we would have used we would have used our dice. So if you do have a dice at home you can use it. Otherwise you can just make up your own numbers. Okay. Complete the table. So dots would be three. If I threw the dice and I got three dots I would have drawn three dots would have written the number 3 and the word 3. So if you do have dice that you want to throw, you can see which ones you get and fill them in, or just choose any numbers. So you could do 8 or 6 or, or 10. As long as you can draw the circles, the little dots, you can write the number and you can do the number word, okay, the number name. So don't do something too big if you don't know how to write the number name. Rather do something until 20 because we've been practicing 1 to 20. So choose any three that you want to do over there. That's page 18. We turn over to page 19. Now 19 says put on your thinking cap. Okay, that means it's a little bit of a challenge. It means you need to think carefully while we do this one. And it's it means it's not going to be easy, but I know that you guys can do this. Okay, challenge. Mother hen's eggs have numbers written on them. The numbers are greater than two. Okay, so the numbers need to be bigger than two. And smaller than eight. So the numbers need to be, mother hen's numbers need to be between two and eight. But you can't use two because it says greater than two. So the numbers can be from three all the way to seven. Okay. Color the eggs that belong to mother hen. So, 
if you see an egg with a number three on it, you can color it in. If you see an egg with a number four on it, color it in. If you see an egg with a number five on it, you might color it in. And if you see a number, an egg with a number six on, as well as a number seven, those are the only eggs you are going to color in. Three, four, five, six, seven. Because those are the numbers that are between two and eight. Right, then our last page for today is page 20. Page 20 will be our last one for today. Again, it's a put on your thinking cap. Let's look at the bottom. Okay. You have some blocks and there's various lines in the blocks. All right, and then this one is missing. Let's see what they say. Daryl sees a pattern made with lines. Okay, little skew lines. He wants to complete the pattern. So this is Daryl. He's a bit confused because he's not sure what needs to go there. Okay. Draw lines in the box to complete the pattern. So first you need to go and have a look what's happening in each one to see what's happening there. So what you could do to help you is count how many are here, write the number at the top. Okay, do the same with this one, same with this one, same with this one. Even the same with the last one. Write the number at the top. And then you'll see a pattern. You'll see if it's getting bigger or if it's getting smaller. If they're minusing one circle every time or plusing two or what the pattern is. And then you'll know how many are supposed to be Yeah. Then it's when you use this block to draw them. Yeah, I'm not going to tell you the answer. I want you to think about this one. See if you can work it out for yourself. You're going to draw the little lines in there. Make sure you draw the correct number of lines. And then the last sentence says, there are so many lines. So write the number there. If you had 10 or, or 6 or 12 or 20, write it over there. Okay, but remember if you've written your numbers up here, you should be able to see the pattern. That's the last page for today. I hope you had fun. Bye-bye.